Hello everyone, I'm Andre, and in this episode of Droplight Video Tutorials I'm going to show you how to enable CUDA on supported NVIDIA graphics cards in Premiere Pro using the Mercury playback engine and in After Effects enabling ray tracing. So, in order to do this you have to go to the folder where you've installed the Adobe programs, so in the C partition program files, Adobe, uh, I have the CS6 version of those programs, so go to Premiere Pro, type in C a few times until you get the CUDA supported cards TXT file, open it up, and you will see that you have a limited selection of uh, CUDA enabled cards that Adobe tested. So, in order to make this work, you have to type in the exact model number of your graphics card. So, in order to see the exact number, I recommend you to download GPU-Z, which is a free program that shows you everything about your graphics card. So, here it is. And as you can see, the name of my graphics card is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 but you don't need to type in NVIDIA, just GeForce GTX 1070 but be careful because this process is caps lock sensitive so type in the model number exactly like in the GPU Z so for me it will be GeForce GTX 1070 and then save it and now to enable ray tracing in After Effects what you will need to do is go back to the After Effects CS6 folder or whatever version of After Effects you have type in R until you find the ray tracer supported cards TXT file open it up and again do the same thing type in your graphics card, I've already done that and it, it is pretty simple. Now if I jump into Premiere Pro and open up a project and go to uh, to project settings to general you will see that it has enabled the Mercury playback engine GPU acceleration because otherwise it will only have the option of Mercury playback engine software only which only uses the CPU for this and you will see that it enables full resolution from the start even if you have 4K footage and you will have this yellow line which symbolizes that it's being rendered on the, uh, in real time on the GPU so it works perfectly with no with absolutely no drop frames I hope you found this video useful and if you had go give us a like and check out some other tutorials and other videos as well. See you guys later.